Absolutely. We'll make sure you get the best care and pay nothing up front. Sharpen. Make sure to tell them they don't pay unless they win. The Law Brothers are always there for their clients. You may kiss the bride. Law Brothers. campus as a clash between protesters and campus police at USC today. Gates remain closed this hour. The pro-Palestinian protest quickly escalated this afternoon. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. Good afternoon. I'm Carlos Salcedo. Students at USC joining others at universities across the country protesting the ongoing war between Israel and Gaza. But as tensions overflowed, chaos broke out. KTLA's Rachel Menetov joins us live from University Park with more on today's protest. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sam. Hi, Carlos. Good afternoon to you both. This, this demonstration is reminiscent of ones that we've seen at Columbia, Yale, NYU, and other universities around the country. They are protesting Israel's war in Gaza. Take a look at this gathering here behind us. Tensions were high at one point this morning with a few clashes between protesters and campus security. Overwhelmingly, though, the, atmosp the atmosphere has been a, a peaceful one. I will say that while some demonstrators are students here at USC, many are not. Many have come from off campus to participate today. We've also been speaking to Jewish students on campus who say demonstrations like this one make them feel unsafe on campus. Clashes between USC students and campus security Wednesday morning after pro-Palestinian protesters set up encampments in Alumni Park. Campus police confronted the crowd and ordered them dismantled. Tensions continued to grow after officers forced protesters to remove their tents and at least one person was detained. A tense morning followed by a peaceful showing of solidarity throughout the afternoon. USC students joining others around the country demanding that their university divest from companies that do business with Israel and end its war in Gaza. Very, very honored to be able to join the legacy and join the current student movement around the, across the nation. But most, most importantly, our solidarity is with Gaza and with people of Gaza who are experiencing a genocide at the hands of the Israeli apartheid regime. It's a morning genocide! These students say they're opposing Israel's government and its response in Gaza following the October 7th Hamas attack in southern Israel. No one should have to wake up in fear of dying every day. Um, <clears throat> and if this happened on American soil, I think we'd all feel the exact same way. Funny enough how there's a lot of protests going on and you're always in support of it until after it's done, but not in the moment. History has happened in the moment and you don't even have a lot of people who are for the cause. Free, free Palestine! Today's protest comes after USC made headlines for barring its pro-Palestinian valedictorian from speaking during the May 10th commencement ceremony. It ultimately decided to cancel many outside speakers and honorees altogether. At the same time, many Jewish students on campus say they feel ostracized by the anti-Israel sentiment here and elsewhere. I have a Hamsa necklace. I put it under my I put it under my shirt because this is just not a safe space, safe place to be in right now. I 100% stand with the Palestinians who are being killed. I think no one should be killed, but at the same time, you know, Hamas should not be an organization. Hamas kidnapped and is holding hostage 133 hostages. Back out here live, you can see the line of campus security officers. LAPD is on standby as well. The public safety assistant chief says that students will be able to freely express themselves during the day, but no one will be allowed to sleep here overnight. The USC provost also released a statement saying that they've closed the gates to campus. They're temporarily restricting access at the moment. They reaffirmed their commitment to free speech and free expression, but condemned hate speech bullying and harassment on campus. That's the latest from USC. I'm Rachel Menatov. Sam Carlos, back to you in the studio. Rachel, thank you. And stay with KTLA 5 as we continue to bring you updates from the pro-Palestinian protests at USC. For the latest anytime, just head over to our website, ktla.com, or download our free KTLA 5 app. Hundreds gathered to march through Hollywood today to commemorate Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day. Schools and many Armenian-owned businesses were closed.